Oh, I preach the message one time uh, that there are no illegitimate children. Uh, you are already in the mind of God. Uh, and God knows what to do uh, with you. Uh, so the plans are highly considered uh, and gone over with to make sure uh, that the building will stand. Uh, God wants you to get enough Holy Ghost in you uh, to be able to stand. Uh, see, I, I thank God uh, for at Christ's redemption tabernacle. Uh, the altar room is something, uh, I mean the altar and the birthing room uh, is very important. Uh, when people come in to be saved, uh, they don't need to be half filled up uh, with the Holy Ghost. Uh, because the devil uh, will find the flaws uh, in your foundation uh, and will attack it uh, as soon as you step outside uh, of the church doors. Uh, but you need uh, a good auctioning power uh, and anointing of the Holy Ghost uh, that will rock, amen, uh, the very foundation uh, of what you were born into this world with. Uh, Sin cannot stand up to the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will root out and tear out and move sin out of your way. But I'm here to find out that I hired an excellent architect. My architect, his name was Jesus. And when Jesus made the blueprint, they man, he said, he drew up the blueprints uh, for the church. Uh, he said the church uh, is built upon, uh, amen, the doctrine uh, of the apostles. Hey. And it is Jesus Christ uh, is the chief cornerstone uh, of the church. Uh, so I had to get into the church uh, in order to find out uh, who I am. Because uh, as long uh, as I was outside of the church, uh, was nothing. Uh, but as soon as uh, I stepped into the church, uh, I became somebody. Uh, I became something. Uh, what are you saying? Uh, what is the purpose? Uh, Isaiah put it like this. Uh, to what purpose uh, is the multitude of your sacrifices? Uh, dear Lord unto me, uh, saith the Lord. Uh, he said, I'm full uh, of burnt offerings. Uh, uh, and I'm tired of the fat of the beast, uh, amen, and I delight not uh, in the blood of bullocks uh, and of lambs and of peoples, uh, amen, they just weren't enough uh, to do the complete job uh, of delivering mankind, uh, God got tired uh, of the turtle doves, uh, and God got tired uh, of the he goats, uh, and God got tired uh, that could not deliver me. But he said, listen, that I knew that some blood had to be shed. Had to be shed. But without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. So God said, I gotta take a nothingness and make something out of it. But before I can do anything with it, I got to put some blood over it. I got to color it with some blood. Almost uh, all things uh, are by the law. Uh, purged Heard by the blood. blood. Yes. And without the shedding of blood, uh, there is no remission. It was therefore necessary uh, that the patterns uh, of the things in the heavens, uh, amen, should be purified uh, with the heavenly things themselves. Uh, so God uh, when he began to build the church, uh, he looked at you and I. Uh, he saw your high-minded, uh, hard-headed self. Uh, he saw that you were stuck on yourself. Uh, he saw uh, that you thought uh, that nobody uh, needed to do anything for you. Uh, he saw uh, that you said uh, it don't take all of that uh, to be saved, uh, but it saved you anyhow. Uh, he came down. He said, I'm going to be moved. The former prophets did what they could. But God, he said, listen, I'm going to come down and make myself a body so that I can 
eggshell show me how it's really done Philippians says in chapter number 2 and verse number 6 he said who be Paul is not robbery to be equal with God but he made himself of no reputation hallelujah took upon him the form of a servant and he was made in the likeness of
even off the main block. So when it folks up, I say Jesus is not the one. No. But I'm here to tell you uh, that he's my God. No. He's the son of God. No. In him was life. No. And in him uh, was the life of the world. No. He came down uh, through 42 generations. No. He was the word of God. No. Spoken out uh, into the atmosphere. No. Hallelujah.